Do you know what a peacemaker is? It's someone who makes peace between two people. See, when two people get into a fight, a peacemaker can help them stop fighting and help them be friends again. Have you ever gotten into an argument with one of your friends or a brother or sister or maybe even your parents? It happens to all of us, and none of us like it. So the question is, how do we make up and get to be friends with that person again? We could go to them and say we're sorry, but what if the argument was the other person's fault? Could you still be the one to go and talk to them first and try to be friends with them again, even before they told you that they were sorry? That sometimes is hard to do, but that's exactly what Jesus wants us to do. In the Bible, Jesus said that God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Now, how do we do that? Well, peacemaking means giving up what we want for ourselves for the sake of our relationship with someone else. It means deciding not to argue. We do that by remembering that our relationship with that person is more important than whatever it is that we're arguing about. Well, that's exactly what Jesus did for us. Jesus was our peacemaker. We were in a fight with God. We were always doing the wrong things and not listening to God, and He could have punished us for those things. But instead, God wanted to have peace with us. And even though we were the ones that were doing the wrong things, God was the one who sent Jesus to make peace between us and God. The Bible says that Jesus died on the cross for all of those things that we do that are wrong, and that if we believe in Jesus, we can have peace with God. Jesus came to us first. Well, that's what he wants us to do with our friends and with our family. He wants us to be the ones to go to them first and to make peace with them. If we do that, if we'll be a person that tries to make peace with other people, we'll be like Jesus, and God will be pleased with us. Romans 12:18 says, Do all that you can to live at peace with everyone. Why don't you take a few minutes now and talk with your family about how you can be a peacemaker at your home and with your friends. Here are some questions to get your conversation started.